Hey guys, this is Sam, and this is an exclusive first look at Boxy 2.0, which is the biggest update yet for my favorite email client for the Mac. And I was actually able to try this out a little bit early, thanks to the Boxy team. And they were also kind enough to send out 10 free promo codes for all of you guys. So if you're interested in downloading this for free, make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. The very first thing you should know about Boxy is that it does not work with any email addresses other than Gmail. So if you're using Outlook or iCloud or anything but Gmail, unfortunately, Boxy is not the email client for you. But if you do use use Gmail, I think you will absolutely love it. At its core, Boxy is an Inbox by Gmail client. And Inbox by Gmail is Google's modern take on email that's a little bit different than just gmail.com. There's so many features here that you don't see in the standard version of Gmail, and you can use all these features inside of Boxy. A lot of the things in material design that are so important are almost the things that you don't notice or won't really pay attention to, like the animation when you open up an email, or the animation when you close an email, or the animation when you switch to this inbox versus the other inbox. It's just really pretty to look at. Everything feels like it's in the right spot. The design choices make sense here. And a lot of that is due to material design, the core upon which this app has been built. And material design, I think, is also important for a few other reasons. Because when you're looking through your email, you're not just reading and you're not just writing and trying to clear things. You are constantly interacting with your email. It's not something that you just observe and it's automatically going to fix itself. And material design is so important for that because when you clear something out or move it, you get these transitions that make you feel like you're getting more work done. Even if you're really not doing that much, checking something and sending it into the cleared area or throwing something in the trash. The point I'm trying to make is that you can do pretty much any of this in any email client. You can archive emails anywhere and delete emails anywhere and sort emails anywhere and set reminders for emails anywhere. Those are modern features on any 2017 email client. But the way in which you do it and how it looks when you do it depends on what client you're using. And I think Boxy works the best and looks the best from what I've tried as far as emails go so far. This is the main inbox from one of my accounts and you can see whenever I mouse over an email, I get these nice little quick options that pop up. I can full screen it, pin it, snooze it, throw it away, archive it or mark it red, and then also move it to somewhere else if I want to. And this allows me to shred through emails really quickly and get to inbox zero as often as I possibly can. For the longest time, I had it in my head that every single email client that I used had to have swipe gestures. I had to have it on my phone and on my Mac and on my iPad. And I realized that when I started using Boxy, that was totally unnecessary for a desktop email client because when you're using a phone or an iPad, you're interacting with email with your fingers. But when you're on a computer, generally speaking, unless you're using a trackpad, you're using a mouse and you're using your hand to control emails. And in a client like Boxy, it wouldn't make sense to swipe left and swipe right. It would make sense to mouse over an email and archive it or throw it away or snooze. And the snooze feature is also really cool. If you click on that, you can set a time for it to remind you like tomorrow or later this week or this weekend. Everything that you do is gonna be sorted into one of these sections over here on the left side. And you can expand these if you click on that little three bar or menu icon right there. You've got inbox, snoozed. Done is the same thing as archive, just an in inbox by Gmail and in Boxy. It's called mark is done for some reason, but just equate that in your head to archive. Drafts for things you're typing up, sent. Reminders you can also do here, which is a big deal. So if you like Google reminders, this works with your Google accounts and you can set these inside of Boxy. You've also got bundles, which are gonna be these automatic groupings of certain emails. So purchases you make or finance, or if you scroll down, trips you're taking, social emails from Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, or updates from other email companies that you've subscribed to newsletters from. If you don't wanna use those like me, you can disable all of them and you don't have to think about them or worry about them ever. It is a nice feature if you get so many emails and you wanna automatically categorize them by a broad category like trips or social or updates or promos but I don't really find the use in those just because I want to see all of my emails laid out in front of me. However, if you want to use those, they are a great feature that Boxy supports. So everything that I've talked about so far isn't new in version 2.0. All of those features have already been baked into previous versions of Boxy, but one of the biggest changes in version 2.0 is a brand new notification system. In the past, you would only receive notifications based on the account that was currently open. So if you only had one window open, you would only get notifications about that account. But in version 2.0, Everything is global, so I get notifications about all five of my email accounts at the same time, whether I'm looking at one inbox for my personal email or my work email, or my school email. All the notifications are gonna come through no matter what. Following global notifications, you also have new app icons to choose from and new theme options, which is another really cool theme that you get with Boxy. You can change the entire look of the app from light to dark, you get this really cool black dark mode for anybody that is totally hyped about dark mode, maybe one day coming to iOS 11. You can't get it there, but 
you can get it in boxy for sure. You've also got the complete opposite of that. So instead of everything being super dark, you can go with a bright, vibrant white interface. And the brand new theme in version 2.0 is crimson. It turns the bluish top bar into red, and I think it looks pretty slick. With all these themes but white, you also get a matching boxy icon. You've got the default icon, which looks like this. You can use the dark icon with a slightly darker check mark. The black icon is gonna be like the dark mode version, but for the icon. And then finally, crimson gives your icon a reddish tint instead of the bluish default tint. Now, unfortunately, once you quit Boxy, Apple has not yet integrated the ability to make it display that app icon all of the time. As soon as you quit it, it's going to go back to the default icon in your dock, unfortunately. But while you're using the app, it's going to look pretty cool. And I like that you have this customization. Next step in the status bar at the top of your screen, there's a completely redesigned Boxy menu here. It's going to list all the accounts and names of the accounts that you currently have added with Boxy. This little icon in the bottom left hand corner that looks like two people is going to shoot you over to the accounts preference panel. And in the bottom right hand corner, you have the ability to quit the app by clicking that power button right there. The last major feature that I want to focus on is speed improvements across the board. Whether you're switching inboxes or sending an email or archiving something, everything feels faster than before. Some changes like sorting through your email feels roughly the same, just slightly faster, but switching inboxes and even launching the app up initially, it's not that the last version of Boxy was incredibly slow or really sluggish. It's just that in comparison, the new version is so much quicker than before. Now, all things considered, Boxy is a great email client, but there is one feature that this does not support yet that sort of drives me crazy that I would love to see added in the future. And that is a universal inbox. I've grown so used to viewing all my emails in the same place by using other email clients that when Boxy didn't have this feature, it was almost a deal breaker. And I told myself, I just can't use it. I can't get used to this. But after I used it for just a couple of days, all the other small features, the material design, the way it looked, the way it worked, and how lightweight of a client it was, made the universal inbox feature not that big of a deal for me. But that is something that I wanted to mention because going in, I didn't know it, it didn't support that and it still doesn't, but I'm hoping that at some point in the future, Inbox by Gmail supports that so that Boxy can integrate it into their app. So if you're interested in trying out Boxy 2, you can do so for the introductory price of $5.99, after which it's going to go up to $6.99. Or if you're one of the 10 lucky people to watch this video and redeem one of these codes, you can get it for free for life. The Boxy team was really generous to let me try out the app early and also provided 10 codes for you guys. So send love their way on Twitter and also tweet me at iUpdateOS if you decided to redeem one of these codes. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, it would really help me out if you hit that like button below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing fantastic and I will talk to you in the next video.